Hey guys, this is Ryan with My Listing Club. Today I wanted to talk about the My Listing Project template and uh, let you know of a couple changes as far as like uh, pricing and whatnot and, and making it more available to more, more people out there. Um, so what this is in short is a project management uh, task board that I've been maintaining over the years, um, just tracking the, the different stuff that's going on with my listing, uh, WordPress in general, uh, WooCommerce, Elementor, you know, just using my years of being in the field working with my listing and what I've seen on other my listing websites uh, with clients and whatnot. Um, just keeping a running um, task board that someone could fire up when building a my listing website and just run through it step by step. Um, it's, it's good for getting you thinking about things even on the business side that you may not have thought of otherwise. Uh, and another real benefit is it helps you to not miss the little minute steps that are important uh, for a successful my listing website. So to get to that, uh, previously, to get to this template, um, to get your hands on it previously, you had to be an elite member or an ultimate member. And it was just free for you to download as many times as you want uh, within your download limit. Um, so that left premium members in the dark and just um, regular visitors to the site that are don't necessarily want to be members just yet. Uh, they couldn't get it either. So uh, I've now made that available to everybody. And I'll show you what that looks like. So if you go up here under menu and my listing resources and scroll down to my listing project template, click on that card. So as we see here, this is, um, this is just someone off the street, not logged into the my listing club website at all, or a member or whatever. Um, the prices is, is $9.99. And I think you'll see once I start walking through it, uh, the value here, it's just, it's worth a lot more than that. Um, but anyway, um, as you see here, it's marked as an elite product. So that means if you're at least an elite member in the club, you, you get to download this as many times as you want within your download limit. Okay. Uh, so that obviously means that ultimate members get it as well. Premium members, if I was to log into the club website, as a premium member, um, you'll see that it's it's discounted um, quite heavily. Okay, um, and basically what this product page here shows is that you can use you can use any project management solution out there that allows CSV imports, uh, which they, any quality one out there should do. Uh, I just gave a few examples here: ClickUp, Basecamp, Trello. Uh, it's actually built in Asana, which you'll see. Um, I've imported it into Nifty PM, which is another tool I use um, for that. And you get a discount here uh, if you're a club member for Nifty PM. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, let's see what this thing is. So here we are in the in Asana, and you just see the various columns here, whether it's like the business side here on the far left of your My Listing website. So that's things like services that you offer, you know, talking about forming partnerships, your, your pricing model, founding member onboarding, affiliate programs. These are the things that you think about before you even start building your my listing website. This is the business side of things. Then you, the next column over, you start getting into the website. You're not, you're not necessarily into WordPress or WooCommerce or my listing or any of that sort of thing just yet. So it's the website side, it's creating accounts, like Google account, getting your domain hosting, email hosting, website hosting, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And then you move over to the right further and you start getting into setting up WordPress um, and then further on and setting up WooCommerce and then next is the My Listing theme. Then you've got all that stuff set up. You need to optimize it for performance, which is the next column. And then on to the next column is SEO online presence. And then as you can see, you've got the columns for in progress and completed. I mean, once you get this into your project management solution of choice, you can do whatever you want with this stuff. Um, edit it for your own needs and create your own template going forward or whatever. But the goal here is you know, to start moving this stuff from left to right um, at, in, into in progress and completed. 
uh, or just leaving it in place and marking it as complete or whatever. However you like to work in what's basically a Kanban board. Um, and depending on your tool of choice for, for managing this stuff, you can set it to list mode or whatever. There's tons of different ways that you can view this data, but let's go ahead and get into some of this just so you can see how extensive this is. Um, let me just think here. Uh, let me pull up. So here's one, for example, Elementor Pro custom header. I'm just picking these at random. So one of the things that I've done, I've, also I should mention that I've gone through this entire thing for the past three days, this entire week, just cleaning it up, making sure it's up to date. Um, another th new thing I've done is start linking to guides more and linking to other task cards. So kind of like creating dependencies. If, if one task relates to another, I, I try to link to it. And this is just the beginning. There's tons more I'm going to be adding to this. I, I tend to add to this a few times every month, but I think I'm going to be able to, to ramp this up. I've got a lot of ideas. Um, yeah, so as you see here, it talks about building a custom header with Elementor Pro. So if you want to get outside the regular My Listing header. Uh, so I link here to a page on the Elementor website on how to build those. And then down here at the bottom, I link to the templates in the club. So if I click on that link, it's going to open a new tab and it's automatically going to show search results for any of the header templates that I've created in the club. Okay. So cool stuff there. I'll go ahead and click on this Elementor link just so you can see it. So it takes you right to the Elementor page and gives you the instructions. And if you were go, you know, footer, same thing. Uh, let's see what else. Something recently I worked on uh, a guide for more so was the map services. So this takes you through step by step how to do that. Um, I've also provided a link for the guide for map services. So that takes you right there. Um, same with social logins. Click that, takes you to the guide. I think you get the idea there. Um, so let me show you a dependency uh, car, a link. So over here on SEO online presence, if you click on, let's say Google Analytics, this is going to say First of all, we assume you've already completed a prerequisite task, which is the Google account. You got to set up a Google account. So if you click this link, it's going to take you back over here to the other column and highlight the card for Google account. Okay, and it's going to run through those steps. We go back over here and we do same thing for Google Tag Manager. It's going to say we assume you've completed the Google account task and the Google Analytics task. So you click Google Analytics task, it takes you right up to the previous card. So it just keeps you on track and make, make, sure, that, make sure that you're completing all of the steps. Um, let me think of something else here. Uh, on page SEO optimization, uh, it's going to link to the guide that I've written. It's going to also link to the SEO Press Pro discount. Um, let's jump over to the My Listing theme. And let's say we want to talk about... Uh, custom taxonomy. So you click on this, that card, you see, there's a lot in here. So I give you this I kind of rundown, I'll give you a rundown of what it is uh, and the steps to get started. And, and then I say a step five here, proceed with the checklist below. So then it hits into this checklist and you can just start checking these off one by one, uh, making comments for yourself or whatever you, whatever you want to do there. Um, and I've done the same for listing tags, listing regions, listing categories, listing types. Um, listing permalinks is a good one. Uh, I link to the perm permalink manager pro guide that I've written uh, for optimizing your, your listing URLs for SEO. I've linked to the permalink manager pro discount. I think you can kind of see what, what this is all evolving into. Um, I'm trying to think what else was I in there? Um, listing stats. And you can see it's pretty comprehensive. Okay. Um, i trying to think if there's anything else I need to show, but basically if you dive into any of these cards, they, you know, they, they go into detail. Um, some more so than others. Some are really in detail. Uh, oh, that listing product packages. That's a good one. So um, I link to 
So you got you got a checklist, and then I link to the templates. They're not templates, but they're actually pre-made listing product packages in the club. Uh, but yeah, so I think you get the idea here. It is it is a complete walkthrough, beginning to end, of how I build my listing websites. Um, if you buy a starter site, this is included. If you buy any chunk, significant chunk of hours with me, I just I include it. Uh, it's included in every care plan. Um, so the moral of the story here is that I'm, I tr I'm trying, I have tried and I'm trying to get this in the hands of more people because I know how much time it saves and I know how it helps people avoid missing particular steps. Okay, so I hope this was useful and uh, have a good one. Bye-bye.